How's it going, guys? Bash is Goofy. I want to talk about one subject that everybody seems to talk about. I want to make it clear. I don't condone any violence, drugs of any kind that includes medication. As very little as possible, if it's possible. And I don't agree with a bunch of other things. <laughs> I'll make a separate video for those. But we're talking about drugs. And in fact, we're talking about plants. Or what people like to call weed, whatever other drugs. You know, I'm not an expert because <laughs> I don't do it ever. But I want to tell y'all the truth, which is what I always do. And I explain it very easily, but still with common sense and meticulousness. So let's get into it. Plant from the land. Exactly. And God made it. Yeah. Well, God also made tiger, tiger root. He also made oleander. He also made nightshade. And he also made pennyroyal plants. We don't smoke them because they're poisonous. They'll kill us. They'll intoxicate us. And then they'll make us... So there's some common sense thrown in your face. The honest truth. Now you can agree or you can disagree. It's your option. It's a free country. Or well, at least where I live. <laughs> Woo! But anyways, the main point is the truth is the truth. The fact is a fact. Gravity is gravity. You can talk mess all you want. But at the end of the day, the rules, the application... The truth will always win and always get you if you don't follow it. Now, it's real simple. I don't agree with drugs because I'm not a druggie. All right. I'm not a crackhead. I don't suck, you know, people off for money for drugs like y'all do. <laughs> I'm joking, man. I, I'm joking. I'm joking. But on a serious note, I'm being serious. You know, don't be stupid. If you get intoxicated by one puff, you're a crackhead. You're a druggie. Because I promise you, you're not going to stop there. Maybe in the future you're drug you you'll stop, and then in the future you'll smoke some more. You see, you never stopped. It happened again. What I'm trying to say is, keep yourself clean. That's the best way to live. Whether it's written in the Bible whether it's logical, whether it's scientifically proven, whether it just feels good, either way, living clean is the best way to live. And that includes smoking weed and all that. Don't do that. Smoking cigarettes, same stuff, man. Vaping, it's all the same stuff. It's all drugs. It's all hindering your body because you can't handle your problems because you're a little punk. I don't care if you're a girl or a man. Or a girl or a kid, you gotta learn to handle your problems without vices. Real simple. Don't be a punk. Because no matter what, you're gonna have to face your fears, your problems, until you're gone. And even after you're gone, you're gonna be judged for what you've done. All of us, no exceptions. So I'm trying to help you, give you a heads up early. Fix your problems, stop being a druggie. And if you like doing it either way, hey man, that's you, man. <laughs> it's just some advice with proven fact and truth. Anyways, guys, real simple. Gabe, the street preacher, explained it very, <laughs> very simply. You don't smoke tiger root or oriander because they're poisonous. You know, weed intoxicates you just like tiger root and oriander and nightshade. But they're also poisonous. Same thing with weed. It's poisonous. They'll get to a point where if you do it in excess, I guarantee you something won't happen. You lose brain cells, something. You might not die or you might die. And other things will start falling on your body or you. Anyways, guys, I'm Bash. It's Goofy. I want to explain something real easy to understand. And it's real easy to make a choice. You either do it 
You stay clean or you be dirty and you do drugs. And that includes medication. If you can't handle your problems, look, if you got like heart problems and all this, look, it's real simple. Get some surgery. Take some medication and never take it again. You know, if you, you know, some of the problems is because you're not handling your situation. If you're overweight, get thinner. A lot of your problems will be fixed. If not a damage, if not a lot of damage is done. It matters how long you take. All right. If you got <laughs> mental problems, well, you need to work them out through your mind, not through drugs. All right. So dating and all these other drugs that make people with ADHD go crazy or whatever. You got to solve your own problems. Because if you tell somebody else, they're just going to throw you in the ditch, make you a druggie. All right. And then laugh at you. Because <laughs> it's true. You are a druggie. Because <laughs> you don't fix up your problems. Now we all got to own up to it. And it's hard to hear it, but it's even harder to do. But once you do it, it's done. The problem's over. Move on to the next one. Anyways, guys, I'm Bastion's Goofy. I want to truly thank you. And I'm truly, honestly, trying to make things simple. Because if you can simply understand it, if you can really say yes or no, do it or not do it, it falls on you. I've done my part. And the rest will fall where the chips fall. If you're a loser, you're a loser. It'll show, boy. And if you're the truth, and you're honest, and you fix your problems, it'll show in your life. Anyways, guys, I'm Bash and Goofy. Thank you very much. Really appreciate you. I honestly do. Even my enemies. I love you too, man. There's no reason for me to hate. There's no reason for me to hate you, because I have a good life. <laughs> you know, if you're living a good life, there's no reason to hate anybody. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm bad since Goofy. And again, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Love your enemies. Love your friends. Love everybody. But at least have the courtesy and the honesty to tell the truth. And help one another. Thank you.